Hawkwatch at Grandfather Mountain presents a special time to view wildlife by looking to the skies, where, on special days, kettles of hundreds or even thousands of birds can be seen flying over the mountain as they migrate south for the winter. Here at Grandfather Mountain, we do our hawk watch every September for the entire month of September each year. We've been doing the hawk watch counts since around 2008, and during that time we'll have our volunteers scattered throughout um, Linville Peak and some of the surrounding areas to scan the skies and watch for raptors as they're migrating south for the winter. The, the primary goal of the count is to count the number and identify the species that are migrating through. The Southern Appalachian and the Blue Ridge Mountains create a perfect travel corridor for the raptors as they're migrating south for the winter due to the topography of the land. The mountains that we have around us um, are, are rugged, they're rocky, and with that they create air thermals, which are vertical columns of air that lift up and the, the raptors use that to, to catch lift without having to expend much energy as they're flying south. And Grandfather Mountain is a perfect place. As, as we all know, how rocky and rugged this place is creates these perfect conditions for these raptors to fly by. So sometimes they fly directly over our heads um, to where you don't even need binoculars to, to see the hawks. They all have different migration paths that they're following and, and destinations. For example, the broadwing hawks, which are the, the raptors that we see in the most numbers, are coming from as far north as Canada and going all the way down to Central or South America. There are hawks that are part of this, this family. There's also falcons and, and eagles. At different times throughout the year, we will see different species coming through. So there could be uh, bald eagles coming through. There could be peregrine falcons. There's also Cooper's hawks and sharp shinned hawks and broadwing hawks. So a lot of these species that come through are species of special concern. They may not be endangered species per se that are protected by the Endangered Species Act, but they are species that are, are vulnerable to a lot of different things. Part of the reason why Hawk Watch is so important is because we're able to count these numbers of birds as they're going south. And over, over time, we'll be able to see trends in those numbers to, to help be able to pass regulations and rules to protect their, their winter grounds and their summer ranges. Critical to the success of Hawk Watch each year are the numerous counters and volunteers who dedicate their time to undertake the scientific endeavor of counting and identifying the species of birds flying overhead. The way we look for the birds, basically they're coming from the north, so we tend to face that direction, although sometimes they can sneak up on us and come at us from different directions. Raptors, particularly broadwing hawks, migrate in flocks we can see them from a great distance away. Sometimes they can be mere specks when we first spot them, but they usually are coming closer to us as they migrate south, so we can get better views and identify them or verify what species they are, and then also try to count them. I've always been interested in nature from when I was a young boy. Birds, to me, are sort of the, the best portal into that natural world. They are beautiful visually, but also they have beautiful songs. So you're using your two main senses when you're, when you're looking at birds. And the other really cool thing about them is that they are everywhere. They're in your backyard. They're in the far reaches of the world, the far corners. They're literally everywhere and they're totally tied into habitat. If you're interested in sort of how you connect the dots in the natural environment, birds are a great, great way to sort of show the connections to habitats, to different types of places, as well as ecological diversity and the places where they, where they live. So all of that is uh, just made birding a lifelong passion of mine. It, it, you learn new things every day. It's never ending. And there are 10,000 species of birds in the world. So you never run out of new ones to see if you're, if you're uh, able to travel around to, to look at them. So again, just birds are the perfect uh, window into the natural world and uh, it's great fun to get out and, and look at them. I got interested in birding actually. Uh, the pandemic was kind of the instigator in that where I was sitting in my house one day as we were all cloistered together looking at the bird feeder, wondering which bird was which. 
What I've loved about birding um, and having the time to step back and observe is getting a bigger perspective of all the things going on that you don't normally have a chance to acknowledge as you sit there doing your job that pays the bills. It's also appreciating the balance of, of how our impact on the environment is affecting not just us, but everything around us. So that's been really a, a wonderful thing to step back to um, after being away from it from, from my undergraduate work. For results of the 2021 Hawk Watch, visit grandfather.com where you can learn more about our mission to inspire conservation of the natural world. Hi, my name is Jesse Pope. I'm the president and executive director of the Grandfather Mountain Stewardship Foundation. Thank you for watching this video. Click the subscribe button below. And to learn more about Grandfather Mountain, visit grandfather.com and you can support our mission there to inspire conservation. Thank you.